my concern is that some of the discretionary spending in the TELUS World of Science was one of them, $50 million. I just can't in good conscience see Council advancing an expansion of, an, of a centre that is already it has already received renewal funding when we can't advance funding for building fire stations or renewing old fire stations in critical areas of the city. Is it concerning to hear, I guess, you know, one request after the other, you know, when, when we already know that the city's facing a difficult year when it comes to budgeting? I, I don't know, I don't think so, because this is really the public's review and the, and the public's opportunity to analyze. Let's remember that the budget before us was prepared by administration or the bureaucracy of the city, and this is the first opportunity the public's had to weigh in on whether those priorities reflect the priorities of the community. We've heard Councillor so he say he's never seen it this busy before, and I'm wondering, are you surprised by the level of engagement this, this budget year? Um, I, would, I would agree that that probably is the highest number of people speaking, but I think it's reflective of the fact that there are cuts in this budget, cuts to service. Um, it also reflects that there are some choices in the budget about projects, whether uh, the city should go into debt more, whether we should build more. Um, you know, in all of those things, I think the public has has the res right and responsibility to weigh in, and this is the one day that council gets to hear from them on it. So I view it as, for all the days we spend questioning administration, I view this day as equally important because it is our citizens and our constituents' opportunity to say what they think. What's it like to tell the public no? I think that comes with the elected responsibility we have. Uh, I don't know if anybody said no today, but I certainly tried to pose questions to ask people to weigh, you know, weigh the choices. And at the end of the day, there's 13 people that have to weigh those choices, and we have to really consider not just for today, but for the, in particular, with respect to the debt. What are we asking future taxpayers in the city of Edmonton to pay for? Because at some point you are going to have to sit, give them that answer, aren't you? Well, and that was part of the questions around the debt. The, the city at the end of 2014 is looking, at the end of 2017, with the projected debt, we have, um, we have approved in principle, we will have a debt of about $2.8 billion. That, today the debt costs represent about $300 million in an operating draw uh, from our tax levy. So if you look at the projection, and that does not include the CRLs for the uh, quarters or the CL CRL for the arena, that is a substantive amount of money each year that just goes to service debt-related costs. So it's, um, you know, I think adding new projects to the borrowing is something that I'm really taking very seriously this budget. And, and weighing what is core and what's essential and what are discretionary projects that maybe can wait.